We begin today with what's perhaps one of the most secretive meetings of the world's most powerful people. The Bohemian Grove Retreat is held every summer in Monterey, California. Top government and business leaders are among those that attend the men's only event. It's been going on for decades, but what actually happens there remains a mystery. And that's because the two-week gathering is completely closed to the media. But now an infamous hacker is trying to shed some light on what goes on there. The hacker, Guccifer, has handed over some emails to RT. Here's one of them. It says, quote, uh, or it shows News Corp executive Andrew Knight allegedly writing to former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell. And he urges Powell to make sure that the U.K. Prime Minister, Tony Blair, comes to the Bohemian Grove. And he says the event should be, quote, a top priority for him. Now, these emails have yet to be confirmed, and RT has reached out for verification. We've yet to hear back, but these emails do open the door for some interesting questions. Uh, why is Bohemian Grove a top priority? What really happens there every year? And is something is it something that the public should care about? To discuss, I'm joined by Elizabeth Flock, politics reporter at U.S. News and World Report. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. So uh, I guess what do we know about what, what goes on there? There's very little that's confirmed about what happens inside Bohemian Grove, and part of that is that they're, the people who run Bohemian Grove are so closed about what happens. What they will say is that it's a gathering every year of influential people, um, ranging from former presidents to CEOs, oil tycoons, um, and that it's based around art and music and culture, and it's among the redwood trees. Oh, sounds like a good time. But who, <laughs> what would make this different from other elite events that go on, um, Davos, for mm -hmm. example, or, or some of these other elite gatherings? Well, it's actually very different, because if you look at Davos or Aspen, even though um, many of the events are invitation only, a lot of it is, is open to the public, and the goal is sort of to you know, better the world and, and have all these thought leaders coming together to, to share their ideas with the public and you can watch the things on YouTube and all of that. Bohemian Grove is completely different. You have no idea what goes on there. You don't know who's attending every year. You don't know what they talk about. And Bohemian Grove even says that they are not trying to better the world. They're not trying to gather people together to come up with ideas that will be world changing. They just want it to be sort of a retreat. Right, right. Um, yeah, that's how it's described as a retreat. And some are going to say, you know, why not? Uh, you know, these people have the right to have their, their private gatherings and private time away from the public eye. Sure. I think the, the problem that some people have is that there's been a lot of speculation about what actually goes on there. Um, some people say Druid worship goes on there because um, there's a lot of worshiping of the redwood trees. Um, there's an, a giant ceremony with like a 40-foot owl. Right. Um, <laughs> There have been photographers who've gotten inside, and just it just seems like very bizarre rituals happening by people who have enormous influence in the world. Mm -hmm. And so the idea that they gather to do this every year is sort of a little bit unsettling right. for people. Uh, speaking of these people that do have enormous influence, who do we know about who's on the guest list? Who goes to these events exactly? So supposedly every Republican president since the 40s, I believe, has been on the guest list. Whether every single one has gone is you know, unsure. Nixon went, Reagan went, Hoover went. Um, Bill Clinton has famously made fun of it, as saying that it was naked Republicans rubbing themselves against redwood trees. Um, uh, but Nixon definitely, um, on the Watergate ta tapes, he actually is, is heard sort of making fun of it and saying that it's a gay event. Um, but we also know that major CEOs, basically anyone who's influential in America and around the world, has come to this event or right. been invited. Um, so, yeah, it seems like a you know, all the world's most rich and powerful, the most the, the policy makers, the influence sure. makers are there. Yeah, you don't really hear too much about it. So why do you think it's not really an, a, a concern of the mass media or, or the general public? I mean, I think it's just that so little information has gotten out, so there's nothing to really say. And, and, and the people who have gotten information out are people that are sort of kept to the fringes. So Infowars, a famous conspiracy theorist mm -hmm. site, Alex Jones, who went in there with the camera, and he actually was able to videotape the ceremony with the giant owl. And I actually, I talked to the spokesperson of Bohemian Grove, and he confirmed that the footage was real. Right. Um, so, so it's a legitimate, you know, thing that Alex Jones was able to get inside, but Alex Jones is someone no one really take seriously and so I, I think the mass media just really right. doesn't want to talk I about think it. the question is um, yes yes the video is 
is real and authentic, but some of the messages, some of the things that he was saying in it is right. what is in dispute. Right. Um, I want to ask you, we saw during the presidential campaign, we saw from the former Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney, this 47 percent video mm -hmm. came out. And this was something that he thought he thought he was behind closed doors. Uh, but in this modern day and age, somebody was recording it and this came out and it's called a game changer. Right. So do you think that these events, you know, they provide an opportunity to, to speak candidly and show their true colors and say things that say things and do things that they may Absolutely. otherwise not do. And I think that's why um, influential people have held on to this retreat as something that is for them to not even really do business. I mean, the, the slogan of Bohemian Grove is weaving spiders come not here. And what that means is we're not going to do business here. Don't come here with your, you know, de wheeling and dealing. Like, it, this is a place to be able to say whatever you want. And perhaps like the 47% video, I'm sure that people say things that are, that are politically you know, incorrect or inappropriate, that they know that they can because no mm -hmm. one's watching them. I guess the great dilemma is that uh, a lot of the stuff is just kind of speculation because it's so secret. Absolutely. It still remains a secret. We don't really know for sure what, what does go on, but appreciate you coming on, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. That was Elizabeth Flock, politics reporter at U.S. News and World Report. Thanks.